you're looking for a guide on how to clean out your koi pond, you've come to the right place. We're gonna do step-by-step -step instructional video for you on how to clean your pond. The reason ponds get the dirt and grime each year is because, well, algae happens. A natural stream out in the woods has a constant flow of new water coming through. But your backyard ponds, it's a closed system with all the same water flowing. Filters do their job, but it still needs a good cleaning once a year. I mean, think about it. You have the organic matter falling from the trees, things getting carried in by the wind. It all finds its way into our ponds. Then you have uneaten fish food that breaks down and the fish waste that drops. All this decomposes and creates sludge and algae. It's unavoidable. So we clean once a year, typically in the spring. The clean pond isn't just visually appealing. It's critical for the health of the pond's environment, its longevity, and the well-being of your fish. All right, so here we go. First, get your tanks and equipment all set up. These tanks will hold your fish during the cleaning process and most of the water from the pond which your fish are used to living in. All right, next, place your clean-out pump in the middle of your pond, keeping the other end of the hose and the holding tank to push the water up into there. You don't want to put the pump all the way at the bottom of the pond because you don't want to get all that sludge sucked up and put into your clean water that you'll be putting back into your pond. Leave a fresh water hose running in the tank as well from the house. You'll need as much water as you can get to top off the pond when you're done. We're going to use quite a bit of water during the cleaning phase. When the pond starts to get low, you're gonna get in there and use a sock net to carefully catch your fish and transfer them into the holding tank. The lower the water level is in your pond, the easier it's gonna be to catch these fish. Once the fish are in, set up a bubbler in the tank to maintain healthy oxygen levels, which will keep your fish happy and healthy. It's a good practice to then place a net over the holding tank to prevent any fish from jumping out. With the water level getting lower in the pond, move that big hose from the holding tank out into your yard away from the pond and then move that clean out pump to the lowest point in your pond. The last of that remaining pond water will work as good fertilizer for the yard, but you don't want that mucky water running back into your clean pond when you're all done. Now with the pond completely empty of water, you're going to keep the clean out pump running at the pond's lowest point to continue to remove the water that you're going to be putting in there from the pressure washer during the cleaning and rinsing phase. Alright, now to clean up the rocks, start up your pressure washer. We're going to start from the highest point of your pond and work your way down. As you remove the debris and algae, you'll want to work it toward the clean-out pump at the bottom. Get all that big heavy stuff, and then go back up again and repeat. You'll find some debris left behind. Make sure you get your pond lights too as you're going along. Alright, now you're going to go back and do a similar process, except this time, you're going to place a second clean-out pump in one of your holding tanks, the one without the fish, and use that hose with its heavy stream of water to blast leaves and heavy debris out from the rocks, rinsing everything down to the lowest point of the pond. You can use a regular garden hose if you don't have this set up, but this way definitely works the best. Once you've rinsed everything out real good, go back through with that same hose and hold it in the crevices between each of the large rocks to flush out debris trapped back in there. We leave the hose in each area for about 15 to 20 seconds or until you see the water running out clean. Then do one more final rinse, top down. Once you're done, spend a little extra time at the lowest level pushing that last dirty water towards the pump. If you have help, it's good to have the other person start on the pond's filtration system simultaneously as you're cleaning and rinsing. Otherwise, that's going to be next up on your list. At the filtration system, remove and clean the bio balls, the filter pads, and the bio medium bags to maintain optimal water quality. Once clean, put it all back together. Now on to the skimmer. Remove the pump. With the pump out, you want to inspect the pump and the impeller for any clogs or damage. This impeller happened to have a chunk of mulch stuck into it. Glad we checked. Check the valve and filter pad for any issues. Then clean it all up real good. Then you can reassemble it. Now we're going to walk over to the electronics. Turn your pond lights on and off and make sure all of them are functioning. Now let's check the auto doser. Check to see if it has chemicals and add more if needed. Now let's look at the ion gen. If it looks like it has some life left, you can scrape it clean with a knife. If it looks pretty bad, go ahead and replace it. 
All right, let's get back in the pond now and adjust any fallen rocks or gravel, which can shift during the freeze and thaw of the winter. And you usually knock stuff around during the pressure washing and rinsing. Then you'll go ahead and pick out any of the larger trap debris by hand and place that stuff into a bucket or trash bag. Now let's move on over to your plants. If any of them look like they need to be cut back, go ahead and cut them back and then fertilize your aquatic plants to promote healthy growth for the season. And then toss in some healthy bacteria. All right, with everything cleaned and inspected, it's time to refill your pond. Let's start transferring that water back over. Once the water level gets low in the holding tank with your fish, you can carefully move your fish back over into their new rejuvenated habitat. All right, we're almost there. Stand back and turn on the pumps. Inspect to make sure everything is in working order. If you follow these steps, you're not only gonna have a beautiful pond, but a thriving ecosystem for years to come. Hey, from all of us here at Damascus Enterprises, thanks for watching. May your ponds flourish with beauty and life. Take care and keep those waters sparkling. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more tips, tricks, and pond adventures.